here I'm going to demo the engineering sample of the new S unit that I was sent to DSC, the Spain Data Signage Show. This is the POE version, the HD base T. The TNT part number is the R014 POE VIR 3L. Here you see the transmitter and receiver. So on the transmitter side, we have the RS222 and the IR controls on one side, plus the LED lights. On the other side, we have a power input, the HD base T cable for the to link the two receiver and transmitter, HDMI input, as well as three Ethernet ports. On the receiver side, on the front side, we like I said we have the IR and the RC2 controls, as well as the LEDs. On the other side, there's no power since we get power from the transmitter. It's going to be over the, cat, cat, the cable. Then we have the HDMI input, and then also the three LAM cables. So that's just it. So in this case, I'm going to be using um, my equipment. I'm using is going to be a Sony TV. Uh, Panasonic players in the back. And then I'm using this monitor because it's kind of connected to a computer to demo the RS-232 controls. That to show you that it works. So, let me start by connecting everything first. I will connect the transmitter side first. I'm using a 6 foot HDMI 28 gauge cable for my source side. I'm also using a 100 feet 100 meter category 6A 23 gauge cable. And that's so now I'm just I can, so far connecting the HDMI cable, the HD base T the cable, the category 6 cable for the HD base T. I'm also going to connect the LAN cable right now, a category uh, Cat5 cable. This is for internet. This is what I have to connect to my router to my internet. And also, I want to connect. Um, R two two in here, and lastly the IR, the green IR out cable here. Okay, that's one side. Now on the other end, I am going to connect the receiver side. So on the receiver side, everyone. Oh, lastly I forgot the transmitter also connect the power too. So here you go. So here you see the LED lights on, the power LED lights on. Activity is sync. It's flashing since I didn't connect the receiver side yet. Or activity and HDMI link is flashing since I didn't connect anything else yet. So on this side, on the TV side, I'm going to connect the HDMI cable. I'm using a 16 foot 24 gauge cable. Also the category cable, the Cat 6A cable. And once I do that, you notice the power light over here comes on. So basically these two got linked. So power, it's power, the transmitter is powering the receiver. Also connected to TV, I have a Ethernet cable. I'm connected to one of the Ethernet ports, so I can have I can, so I'm going to show you demo the internet from the TV also. Um, also going to the R232, which I have connected to a barcode scanner. And lastly, the IRN cable, the red IRN cable. So here. You look at it. We basically, we mostly, we have everything connected. We have the HDMI cable, so on both the sides. The Ethernet cable linking the two units. R two three two cable come, come, sending from the barcode from receiver to transmitter to computer. And lastly, the IR in from IR signal from the TV side to the receiver transmitter side. So, okay. Let me turn on the unit real quick. I'm just going to first demo the with audio or video stuff for side first. So immediately you see video come up. And so I start playing the video. Now, to show you the resolution, it's pretty hard since it doesn't show it, but this TV has the way the real way of displaying it, but to display I can tell you right now. Let me show you real quick. So I want to change it a real quick port. So, okay. So now when I change the port back to the port, the thing that has signal. You see it jumps from. It's now it's at 38, 40 by. Let me do it again. So if you look up here, I'm gonna change to something input at one. Then I'm gonna jump back to HDMI three, which is the cable I connected to the port. It's 
3840 by 2160. So basically, this is 4K, 2K, and 30 hertz. So audio videos out. Audio same thing comes up. And it's no problem. So we know it's passing everything right now. Audio video signals. So now I'm going to check check tell it test is going to be the Ethernet. So like I said, this has Ethernet connection. So if I bring up the home menu, this TV can connect to the internet. So if I go here, look at the internet network status. <laughs> You see, it's I'm a on the wired LAN connection connected, and if I go to the settings, network settings, and you can check my you can view my internet settings. So you see, it's wired, and physical connection is all okay. So to demo this real quick, I can just show you like let's say can you play a music file. Well, I can't get it right now, but yeah, like I said, you can access. I can access different apps that I need to through my internet. I'm not sure which I hit right now. I think I hit Netflix, but I can't. so yeah, I did hit Netflix. <coughs> so. Using this HTTPS, I can connect my TV to the receiver side. My transmitter has connected to the internet, and I can access Netflix. Or I could get Netflix if it loads fast enough. But let me get out of here since. Let me leave this since it's going to take a while since my internet is slow. Our internet is slow here. But yeah, so as you see, if you see up here, on this corner right here, so that, basically that symbol shows I'm connected to the internet right now. Now, let's say I unplug this. Let me just unplug this real quick. Unplug the ethernet cable. You me unplug this. You notice the symbol up there changed from the signal change to like an X, meaning nothing's connected. And you see here, my network status, why are they not connected? So, that's just to show you that I actually did have a wire lamp connected. So you put that back in here. Plug it back in here and you see it change again. So, okay, so that means wire lamp is working. Now, now I'm going to check the, test the control signals. So my first test I'm going to do is a barcode reader scanner. So here I have a barcode. I'm going to go from trans receiver to transmitter, from transmitter to PC, and I have here my RS2 software open, so if I scan something, you see it being scanned. There you go. So you can see if I scan something, it's actually scanning. So, and that was from transmitter to, no, tra receiver to transmitter to computer. So that's that. Now, lastly, I want to demo right now is the IRs. So, again, since I'm at the receiver side, since I'm using the receiver side right now, receiver in, I'm going to demo the IR for the player. So, I'm going to use a player remote. So, let's say right here, let me get out of the screen real quick to show you. So, here, you look at it here. I go like this. Let's see, you see the menu is below moving. I go down here, it stops. So that's why I have the now I put the IR out, receive dial near the, my player. And once I have it near the player, it's like very sensitive. Once I have it near the player, you see it moving. So, so if you see here, um, you see the menu is actually moving, but if I take the IR sensor out of here, it stops. 
I'm still pressing the button down here. I'm still pressing the button, but it stops moving the thing. Put it, the IR sensor back here, back in here, it moves again. So that's IR in. That's what IR came from trans receiver to transmitter. That's one way of you doing it. Now, let's say the other way you want to do it. From, you're at, you're at the transmitter side and you want to control TV. So I just switch my, swap my IR out. So my IR in is that transmitter. My IR out is on the receiver side. And I need the TV remote control. So let's say, same thing. I'm not going to move my IR cables right here. Is down there. So let's say we, beforehand, I'm doing right here. See, here you see me doing the muting. You see here, the muting works fine. Now, down here, I'm pressing the button, but you see nothing. It's not muting. But if I move my IR in cable, my IR out cable close to here, you see, you see it mute. Move it out, doesn't work. Press the button that doesn't work, back in, it works. So that's my, that's the IR controls. So basically with this unit right now, in this video, I think it's the PoE. We have power from transmitter to receiver. So you only need power on one side. We have ethernet, which I showed you do with connection. And then we have RS-232, which also tests it with a barcode scanner. And then I tested the IR functionality, the IR controls, both sides from TV side to player and player side to TV, testing, controlling both devices. And again, I'm doing 100 meters right now. This is a 100 meter version using a Cat6 A23 gauge. And we will recommend 23 gauge because we're doing power stuff too. So.